The more I ponder Cicada, the more I become convinced that this piece could be Blackbriar's attempt to warm my heart towards bugs. But even for them, a group that, as I'm sure many of you are aware at this point, I hold in deep reverence, I have since I was first introduced in 2020, that's going to be a big ask, because my tolerance only reaches so far with insects. I am generally not a bug guy. I've never really been. Regardless of what our species you like to attribute, specificity does not matter to me. While I do, from afar, granted, admire the intricacies and the beauty in one of nature's most fascinating creations, to be honest with you, admittedly, I at present have a deep animosity towards bugs, given I frequently regarded them as nature's unwanted home invaders for a reason. <laughs> I don't know. How many examples must I cite? The daddy long leg spiders, the two of them, in fact, that were trying to make home on my desk today, the months long ant invasion in my shower drain, the frequent occurrences of yellow jackets trying to nest around the house property, the oncoming as of October predictive square fly infestation. There's too many examples to cite. I'm really not happy with bugs in the moment, and my mood has soured. But with cicadas, they've not entered the fray, so maybe I will offer a gesture of goodwill. <laughs> and maybe Blackbriar will woo me over. There's potential there with their credits, and I have looked over Blackbriar's uh, cicada in consideration of the lyrics, and the storytelling to this piece is deeply enchanting that maybe my heart has softened a bit. Perhaps. Will the song do that? I imagine it would. And I do admittedly also, when I consider this piece, maybe it's because of the animal focus, I get sulky vibes. And that piece was quite interesting, specific, and definitely independent from other songs I've humored uh, generally over the course of my life. It has a real originality to it. This piece kind of gives me some flashbacks of experience, but I like sulky. So maybe I'll really like Cicada. I already do upon entrance, and I think a number of you will too have not been introduced to this song yet. Or maybe Blackbriar. I imagine again a number of you have. At this point, I've consulted three of their works on the channel publicly. I've loved bringing them on, and I've been honored, as I said, devout Blackbriar fan over here. I've been since I first graced their talents uh, with, uh, probably like many of you, until eternity. And ever since, it's just been a fun ride. And when I consider the artists I bring onto the channel and showcase, you know, as I've said many times, music for me is a first love among the artistic languages, and I've always had an aspiration to enhance its presence here as an art form of consideration and regard, to highlight good pieces of exquisite art and capabilities and talents. And there's not been one artist or one song that I've not liked spotlighting here. And with Blackbriar... I knew I wanted to bring them on, and I'm so happy that I did. I feel honored to be able to showcase their talents, perhaps, to you. Whether that be in your company of, like me, general Blackbriar fans, or for some of you fresh entrances. And I hope that there are some of you that approach from that dynamic, and that you've not humored Blackbriar yet. If you want an entrance, or just set a baseline for you on entry. Think Dutch symphonic gothic metal with a real highlight in the mythic storytelling, with a fantasy presence that is exquisite upon narration. And on the music side dominant reach in ability, whether that be, again, on the instrumental uh, application or with their exquisite lead vocalist, Zora Kolk, a favorite of mine. <sighs> I can't wait to humor Cicada. I'm already looking forward to it. And I will say in preparation, I have heard the Instagram samples. I couldn't help myself. I just had to. At least the section of the piece that I entertained sounded really good. I got to hear this in full. But hopefully for some of you, this will be a fun first entrance of Black Briar that'll tempt you to look deeper with their art. You will be. I just taken on faith from me. I've heard every song they've ever released, and their musical craftsmanship truly has impressed me, especially in the European rock. And in regards, many of you know I cannot get enough of that scene. If you've never waited there, let this be your first entrance. There's many groups that recognize on the channel, many to come as well. Blackbriar is certainly not the only one with a large amount of capability. That particular scene in the music world, especially in the rock and metal territory, is just so dominant in adventurism, but... Black Briar, I think you're going to love. Let it be your first entrance. And I think you'll easily be wooed over. Cicada already has potential from what I've seen. And on creativity as well of release date, I've not come across a track in my life that matches the uh, epitome of the summer solstice. That to me was a freaking good choice. But a lot of setup with Cicada. Can Black Briar woo me over to liking Bug Kind? Again, that's going to be a hard ask, but Black Briar has potential. And Cicada's are quite interesting as, as a particular species of bug, and I'm not in a negative place with them specifically at the moment. They haven't tried invading my house. So <laughs> 
Maybe this track will be okay. Maybe cicadas will fall in my good graces. Let's humor together and see if that can be the case. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the music video that came alongside the track's debut. And if you're not familiar with my work, perhaps, and that's a first introduction for you, lyrics are provided directly in the video feed, so if you'd like to read along with the storytelling of the piece, and you probably will, because again, like I said, reading the lyrics on entrance, this has such an, a fascinating captivation and uh, a scope of a story. You're probably going to want to experience the story for yourself, so you'd like to read along. I provide that convenience for you. They're directly provided in the video and the transition along with the song as we navigate our way through it together. And we take a simultaneous journey through, I'm sure, what will be another wonderful addition to Blackbriar's library and a beautiful contribution to a dark euphony, which is evolving quite well, and I cannot wait to hear more. Another piece, as always, Especially with one, again, like I said, of such presence with not only the bug focus, but which I at first thought, you know, when I saw pictures of uh, the wings that you'll be seeing appear on this video, at least that was in the thumbnail, I thought Zora was trying to take on the appearance of a fairy. That's even in the album cover. I guess it's a cicada. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> again, I, you know, I've never really come across that in terms of cicadas of a song focus, but there's room for individuality, and Blackbriar certainly has that in talent, but... It'll be a fun first entrance. And the first song cover, by the way, uh, based on the uh, uh, design art and illustration that features blue. That's different. Matches with the song, though, and energy. It's a good fit. Let's consider the track together. And again, if this is your first entrance of Blackbriar, I'm sure get ready. Just on faith. I have to remind myself of that, too, because I'm always impressed. Good opener. Strong linger. I like the consistency of the first introductory notes. It's a good build. Oh, I like the rougher edge. Not what I predicted. Nice subtle layering. Oh, it's dark. I love it. The vision here is it's enchant oh. This was the Instagram sample. Ah, I love I love that step pattern. This song has such brilliant navigation. Such a fluid consistency, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Man, I love it. There's more of that vibration coming off of my soul's demise. The for last piece we looked at together. I love how the error. Zora's voice just has such an even, um, even step pattern here. But it's so effective in its processional path. And it makes sense. Oh, man. <laughs> that background layering with the echo effect is just really sinking in.
in isolation or er, isolation. I'm gonna continue to come back to this section over and over. In my opinion, as I said on the opener, Selkie reminder. And I like Selkie a lot. I didn't think I'd come to, you know, be so infatuated by a song about a, a woman who transforms into a seal for nine months of the year, but, you know, hey, there's a place, for, as I said, for originality. But if I'm to take Selkie and pair it next to Cicada in consideration, I feel this is the stronger one, in my opinion. I still love Selkie, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to undercut it in any way, but I think Cicada plays better to Zora's vocal strengths. Matched with a beautiful score, with dominant, with particular choices that I absolutely loved. That chorus section, again, yes, an early entrance. I couldn't help myself with the tease that was put out on the band's socials. But I love the pattern to it. The ascension and descension in the small bit of the C minor scale, I think that's what it is. And I'm maybe reaching on that in terms of judgment. That's going back into my childhood in my elementary to intermediate level piano class days. <laughs> And that was, when did I finish piano lessons? When I was 12? So that was 13 years ago. I'm old. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that's C minor. Feel free to clarify down below if I'm wrong on this point. But the three note selection between the C to, I believe, or the C, I'll put it a different way, the C, D, and E flat combination mixed with perhaps the occasional B or B flat. Good choice, especially for that ascension and descension pattern. It's incredibly natural for the song's flow, and I love that basis and how you hear it as a subtle influence over the entirety of the song's flow. It's just such a beautiful choice. I love its placement here. It gives the piece such a tragic mood, but this dr dreamlike quality that is deeply entrancing. But then you mix that with Zora's voice. I love the effect here. This is... I think for... And Zora, as I've said, to every respect of the band's credits, has just impressed me so much. Her talents are just naturally God-given. They always succeed for me. And there's some real adventurism, again, as I've said, to these newer pieces of Black Briar's uh, presence. The last album was witness to this in many respects. Uh, but A Dark Euphony, The Vibrations, My Soul's Demise was like this. Um, the last track we considered in case this is a first entrance for you. And that piece is worth your attention if you've never humored it. Easy repeat listen. I've been hearing that one again for months on end. I love it so much. Cicada also fits the same bill in my feelings on it. It is, well, it, it, you know, it kind of, uh, there's a subtlety to these pieces. Uh, they're not as, this one's a bit more aggressive of the two, I feel, because there's so much time spent with My Soul's Demise in a softer mood. It's quite ominous, and it is to Blackbriar's credit, it's a staple of their presence. I mean, it really sets in nicely with the gothic mood. Cicada, though, I feel is a more aggressive, but it's still quite even. But it adds to that feeling for me that is just so ethereal in Entrance. I, I just love the path of that score, but again, Zora's vocals. I love seeing the growth and ability between My Soul's Demise, or let's be fair, Crimson Faces, that's what started this uh, album, and then My Soul's Demise, and now Cicada. Especially with the last two tracks playing to the vibration effect. And the natural progression of where her voice scales. It's just, oh man, I love it. And it doesn't go as high pitch here, perhaps, as Zora has the potential to, but it gets close. I just love how it's in, it's in a specific determined frame. But there's such mastery in that range, and it's beautifully married to the score. It's a nice piece to take in. Solid delivery on vision. And again, as I said, beautiful lyrics. I never thought I would like a... <laughs> I never thought a bug would be romantic. And yet the journey of Cicada... 
<laughs> oh, I love its presence. When I vanish into melody and never return far gone, would you turn me into a cicada so I can finish your song? I'm going to send you back at the end being like, yes, you know, I'd love to turn to a cicada if it could be this beautiful, at least in song. I don't think I've ever heard a cicada, to be honest with you. I know they have a distinctive sound to them, but I don't think I've ever witnessed it personally. There's a beauty in that, especially in how I consider the song. This, this unknown quality to me of approach, but this very much is like an educational experience of sorts, in a way. I know, again, it's particularly fantastical and a bit figurative, but it's fun to imagine, isn't it? Like, if a cicada's sound, if you do consider it to be like a form of music. <laughs> it's such an interesting subject to focus on, but again, I love the vision of this band. I've always been impressed with Blackbriar. They've never disappointed me. And I hope for those of you that are in entertaining this track as a first debut for them, I hope you feel the same way. I'd love to hear as well, I, I, as I said, I welcome the company of everybody, including longstanding Blackbriar fans. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm sure many of us will be in agreement. Let me know if you wish to disclose your perspective down below what your feelings are. Um, ah, but every piece of it, this song delivers in construction. I just love what we're seeing in evolution of the album here, in the creativity of Vision as well, and the independence of it. I never thought I'd like a song about bugs, but Blackbriar woo me over. I mean, we none of the other species I regarded them dealing with at present in my house. <laughs> they didn't make appearances, so maybe Blackbriar could make something that would, you know, turn my animosity to love of yellow jackets. That would be hard. <laughs> and flies and ants and spiders. <laughs> <laughs> but on cicadas they did so there's there's a first step i mean really they can do anything in vision i've just been so impressed by what black briar has offered in their independent spirit and their creativity they've never in any way let me down i'm sure they never will i can't wait to hear more about uh, more of uh, a dark euphony's evolution especially to witness it with you it's always fun to spotlight this group and cicada as i said in every respect to it delivers the song the score the vocal matchup the range the experimentation as well in zora's abilities what's taking place on a dark euphony especially in those vibration effects and that natural scale order on those notes i love that path on the chorus it's just so thorough and good and the visualizer too just beautiful to watch i mean Forget, like I said, my misconception that she was a fairy. I mean, she's a beautiful cicada. <laughs> Fair fairies are last year. <laughs> Everybody's going to want to be a cicada, thanks to Blackfriar and Sora. <laughs> but they make these bugs quite beautiful. Those are some of the best prop wings I've ever seen, by the way. <laughs> you know, I said for many years, I came from a dance history, 18-year uh, dance background, and some of the younger... Because um, we had a lot of young students in the class. From time to time, you know, the teachers and the people that were helping out with the class would entertain, you know, the kids to just have fun. And so there was a prop, like, dress-up bin, and there were a bunch of fairy wings that they had bought, and so they were jumping around. And they're, like, you know, kind of the basic, you know, like, wire-type constructions with little sequin dots and stuff like that. Um, those were last year. The these are in. These are the most beautiful wings I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think it's a great video. It's beautiful in quality. I mean, it, it, like I said, it's just so majestic and entrancing. You just want to step into this world of what Blackbriar imagines, but this area that they've picked to film in is just so beautiful. And the bluebells. Go! Oh, I, I love Europe so much in every way. Oh, the European music landscape never disappoints me, especially with Blackbriar. I, I love what I'm hearing. The evolution of a dark euphony. I can't wait to hear more. Especially with songs with such a fierce, independent spirit like Cicada. Taking unusual subjects and making wonders out of them. Blackbriar's never disappointed me on narrative or delivery on music. And here we have another example of why I've just fallen so madly in love in every respect. I feel honored to showcase them and to feature them alongside maybe your, for your experience as well, the take with me. We have a mutual journey. And that's what I love about music, just sharing in such a exquisite art expression. And Blackbriar is such a great fit to that vision. I can't wait to hear more from them. Cicada is an absolute winner, as I already predicted it would be. They've never disappointed me. They continue to surpass my expectations in every positive respect. I just love this group. Always in the mood for more.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.